towards it in the map wall. I'm actually going to bring up stat banana. Uh, yeah, that's a little... How do you guys feel about the rush? Uh, I don't really yeah. know what my job is. Well, I'm kind of just being a frog. My improved a lot, so I'm, I'm feeling fine on sick. Yeah, your sig is genuinely... I mean, you missed a few rocks, that should have hit, but from what I saw, it's pretty... Your shield was a lot better. Um, so that's good, and generally your your accuracy was better as well with the rocks and whatnot. Um, yeah, I, I, I counted a few ults, which I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Um, especially the queen ult, the queen ult, too. I think you counted like two or three at least. Yeah, um, two, two or three, I think, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, let me get all the heroes. We'll use Baptiste instead of Kiriko. Um... Because oh. <laughs> this is we scuffed. Yeah. He's fucking Moira instead. Fuck it. Um, and we will. What's the rest of the heroes? Hanzo and Symmetra. Okay, so the way that London play this, from what I saw on defense, is the Sig pretty much anchors underneath. Uh, let me. That. Okay, that just looks weird. Um, uh, but yeah, the Sigma anchors underneath, and the entire backline just play in this enclosed room. And the reason why this works is if their Winston decides to jump high grounds. Well, he's jumping into four people, so that can't really work for him. Um, and this enclosed space is good for Brawl. Uh, I was actually talking when, yeah, when I was making a video about, like, the best and worst maps for each hero, I think one of the coaches that I know that the Gibraltar is actually pretty good for, for for Rush because there's so many enclosed spaces that teams can play in, oh god, um, that you can just, like, play around. Um, Airship 2, that point is where it gets a bit sketchy. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, Gibraltar is actually pretty good for Rush. Um, if you have Symmetra, big, big fucking asterisk. Um, but your Sigma just anchors here, it just forces carts. Um, London will normally actually have a Symmetra playing here, and then they I think they have a May instead of a Hanzo playing up here, and money to back at VODs. But the Sigma, Sigma anchors cart, if he needs to get out, then TP away. Um, and then Hardy will sometimes actually be TP to spawn to like choke it out. Um, or, yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. You've got two angles, and that's how defense works. On attack, um, da -da -da -da, they just bunker. <laughs> they literally just bunker, because every team plays some variation of dive. So they will bunker in car wash um, underneath here, and then the sim will TP from... Uh, they'll simple TP from... Let me just... I haven't used that banana in a while. Uh, the uh, uh, cock move. Uh, simple TP from like here to here, and then your Kiriko, your Symmetra, uh, your Lucio as well, and your Hanzo will play in this bunker area. Your Sigma will force carts, um, and then your Symmetra. What she can do is after she's TP'd, she can actually uh TP from here to here or TP from here to here. And then essentially duel out flankers. Uh, this is something that Sparker did when because each hero in Brawl, especially Symmetra and May, they're actually pretty good duelists. Um, and Sparker, he actually TP'd from here to here, he flushed out the Sombra, and then just forced a point, and then shot couldn't touch. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's how you essentially play it. Scale will looking will be looking to again bunker in here. You can actually take this angle as well, and then shoot anyone playing blue box, or, or we can swing around and then shoot anyone playing high ground as well. He's got a good angle to play around, um, so that's pretty convenient. If you do get dove, then you just kite back in here. Again, pretty good bunker space. This is a dead zone, so you, you you're not going to get pinned really, and your sigma should just be able to live hopefully. Um, yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, and then also your Sigma can shield up top nades. Nades are really important against dive to shield, but Sigma's really good at that. So that's how you play first points. I thought I would go over that because uh, I want to scrim... Uh, I'm not sure when you guys are going to scrim next. Probably next Monday, I guess, when you guys are free. Um, but I do want to see you guys play Gibraltar and Dorado too. Um, to, on, like, essentially maps that aren't traditional brawl. Um, so... Yeah, anyways, that's the stuff I want to go over for first point. I'll talk about Devado later. Um, but let's see. Uh, Ready for battle. Okay. Three. So yeah, question. Actually, has anyone actually watched uh, my Brawl Guide? Um, because I brought up a lot of the examples that you guys actually did here in the actual guide itself. Uh, I left it on loop for a few hours. Oh, thank you. So you, you gave me a few <laughs> Unmuted. <laughs> but... Unmuted, though. 
Yeah, and <laughs> yes, I know you're not gonna watch a video on Loop, are you? Was Hardy was also. But where oh. was it? it oh my was... god! Real gauger. So you can see, you can see it here essentially. Um, London bunker underneath. London were actually playing against the similar sort of Junker Queen comp. How do you guys actually play? Find find it playing against the uh, the Queen comp? Because you guys I don't really. That. I. I don't well, really know what I'm doing. So it doesn't mind. make a difference. Because I, I, I'm just, I'm either like pressuring the back line or like when Queen jumps in, I can just like rock her. Yeah. So like, it's. I think it's a better matchup for you than a Risa than it was. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because I can, I can block off the healing from my shield as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and especially with Maywall too, like Queen. Even if you don't kill the Queen, almost every single time you guys wall rocked Amped, you got uh, Commanding Xiao and Suzu and Amp Force, which are the three big cooldowns in the comp. And then Queen can do fuck all. Um, it would be even better as well. Uh, the micro would be like, uh, Edward, on, when you're on Lucio, if you can try and boop away the Axe so your, your Sigma doesn't get Axe Winged, yeah, and yeah. your May as well, that's really key. Your May mm -hmm. really does not want to get a Cryo Force in, in a wall cycle. But if you're able to boop away the Axe, that's really, really good. Um, and then you can help scale in the meantime, essentially. Your job is very layered. Um, it's... Again, I recommend... I actually recommend watching my, my Year Old Lucio guide, but the three playstyles... Uh... Ah, gods. Um, why is it not... Okay, epic Pen is being very weird today. Not epic. Not very epic. It's not being very epic, is it? Um, yeah. Close and open it again. Turn it off and turn it on again. Close... Uh, I, yeah, I fixed it, guys. You did not fix it, unfortunately. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe it needs updating or something. Um, okay, I've got a big brain idea. I can just use that banana. There we go. Uh, so yeah, your main piece of play styles are run it, which basically just means you're speeding in uh, your your sigma and your mate to get the the wall amp rock combo, um, or you're speeding out. Um, so for example, like, they have Katsune Rush and you're amping out, right? Uh, and you're disengaging with Wall. Something that Florida did very well in playoffs. Um, so that's the run it playstyle. Uh, the second one is Relieve It. So this is mainly, uh, relieving pressure off scale mainly. Because, especially on Esperanza, you didn't do this quite well. Um, but there were many instances where the, the Genji would just be straight on top of scale. And he needs peeling, right? Um, so boops, yeah. shots, forcing out deflect, making that Genji fuck off. Just all that kind of good stuff is really key, so, so Skell can actually live. Because as soon as the Genji's out, Skell's going to be doing a lot more than, than the Genji. Um, and then the last one is Reddit. So this one requires, obviously, mechanics. I wouldn't worry about this one too, too much. But Reddit, <laughs> um, the, the most of the time you're going to be doing this in situations where the fight is scuffed, or it's like a dogfight. Um, dogfight. Uh, so like, and we're talking like 3v3 scenarios. You need to make a call that's like, okay, Sigma, May, come with me. Um, I want to rush this pers person. I want to rush their Sojin. She just used Power Slide. I want to boop her into my team and just do some Red Shell shits. That's essentially what it means. Um, as yep. well as um, going on people who are low HP. So maybe Skull gets a good body shot and he gets a, a Storm Arrow. Maybe he hits three Storm Arrows and you can wall ride and finish that person off. It essentially requires mechanics and it's very fluid in terms of what you do. Um... So those are the three main playstyles that I derived. The key thing is that uh, on Lucio, you need to be doing all three of these playstyles. Um, and so uh, you can do these playstyles. Um, how do I say it? Um, at the same time, so you can also be, you can be running for for example, you can be speeding in your queen and your May while also relieving pressure off your Hanzo by shooting their tracer. Right? You can be doing two things yep. at once, and also. Um, if that's not if that's not the case, um, you can the the playstyle you choose. It's not like you pick one playstyle and that's the playstyle you do for the entire fight, right? So as soon as you speed in your sigma, automatically you need to be switching playstyles and be be looking at skill, right? Or maybe after you've pulled off the Genji, then you could be looking like, okay, I pulled off the Genji. Now maybe I need to speed out my sigma. Maybe I need, I need to speed in my sigma. Maybe I need to read it and boop in their sick their junk queen into my sigma, right? It's all very fluid in terms of how the fight goes on. Um, and I've already talked to you about this in terms of like in, in Kiriko in our own vod, but a lot of it comes a lot of it comes down to aggression, right? How aggressive does your team want to play? Um, is there anyone you can aggress onto, and can you decrease the aggression of the enemy team essentially? Um, it's all about enabling this and disabling your team. I can do a separate vod on you on that, but yeah, it gets complicated real quick. Um, but those are the three main four playstyles. Hopefully, um, you actually didn't do that bad. Um, sometimes you actually uh -huh. really push off Genji a lot of the time. 
Um, wow. Like on Suavasa, you, you did it quite well. Esperanza, you didn't do it that well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just bring that up because if Skell's getting pressured by Genji and Tracer, it's likely on you. Um, in terms of like, yeah, yeah. you know, killing that off. Um, so yeah. And then Sigma's job, um, I should have done that, bro. Um, but yeah, Sigma's job is mainly to just mark. Um, marking Sojourn, marking heals, uh, the rock combo, um, and then kiting and keeping distance with Flux. Like, it's all the basic kind of stuff there. Um, Skell's just getting angled pressure. It's not, it's, he's basically Sojourn, but on Hanzo, and you can one-shot all the time, um, which he did do. Uh, Kiriko is just actually somewhat similar to Lucio. You're going to be healbotting a lot more, but if Skell's taking an angle, you're... Sigma's full HP, and Skell needs help because he's getting pushed, and your Lucio isn't there because he's speeding in or something, then you can TP to, mm -hmm. to Skell and, and win that duel. Again, that happened on, on, on Esperanza 2, where Skell was dueling a Genji. I think you TP to him late, um, and then you, all, you managed yeah. to outdo the Genji. You did, you did get, it, you get him eventually. But yeah, just doing that kind of thing um, is really key. Okay, so that's, that's the general macro and the micro of it. And... The reason why I told you guys to come around here and do this sort of like this weird ass flank is because Spitfire actually did this. Oh no. Um so I just jumped in the open. <laughs> Where is it? Oh yeah, so like here. Um da -da 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 -da. Uh, that's tempo, that's macro. Load Please I'm waffling. Big so Shasa, much yap in this video. Slam. <laughs> so yeah, you can see like L L uh, London are roughly in this sort of zone here, and come on, X is highlighting this area because there's no angles here, right? And if you're playing against dive, right? You guys are playing against poke. I'll explain it later. But against dive, they can't stage you or stage onto you here. It's a lot easier to deal with the angled pressure, and it's a lot easier to prevent their dive. And against poke, even better, right? Because then you just flush out and clear this high ground. It's something that you guys actually, you guys actually did do this. You flushed out the high ground, they're forced to play back, and you just force point, right? And someone needs to touch. And the reason why forcing point is really good is because against poke comps, their Zen back needs to walk, right? And they don't want to walk because they, they want to play range. Um, and that's exactly what you guys did here. The Michael was a bit sc scuffed, I will say. The clearing high ground was really good, right? And we just messed up the micro. We could actually could have got. It's a really nice rock here. Um, we could have probably got their um, what do you say? Their ash uh, with the rock if Scale was peeking and uh, Keanu was charging up a right click. But that's fine. I don't really care. We got a better CD trade. And now look at this. Like this is just the worst case scenario for them. The rage isn't great. They want people on high ground here. They want angles over here. They want angles over here. But now because we flipped the map, they're all in this the one direction, and we've got point control. Um, so this is really good. And if you were playing Sim May, obviously I'm not saying Skell to go May here, but um, your Sig May would drop here, and then your your the rest of your core be on high grounds. You could actually do this with Mei, by the way. You could. You don't even need to TP away or TP across the rotation. You could actually play Mei here, Keanu, and then just force point. If their Sigma touches point, you wall him and he dies, right? Um, and you've got like these really nice sort of like cover places to play around as well. Um, so yeah, A really good right click on the hands. So yeah, here, um, this is where you need to do this the reliever. This is why I threw. This is where you need to do the reliever play style, right? So what could you be doing here? There's a few options. Uh, go help Keanu. Uh, how would you help Keanu? What would you be doing? Uh, I don't really know. Try and boop away the Sigma. Right, yeah, you can boop away the Sigma, right? You can boop in the Sigma yeah. Um, as well if you uh, wanted to get a cycle onto him as well. Um, if he was low HP or something, I'd probably say boop away because you can just force points. Um, yeah. What else could you be doing? Um, I don't really know. What about these guys? I'm not 2v1 <laughs> What if I'm not saying you're 2v1 here, right? But it's the same sort of idea yeah. that I tell brick players as well. Um, you can just wall ride here, like around this sort of area. Yeah, look at them. Play exactly right. Play cover. Boop them away, right? Boop them. Actually, you can boop them in open space. Make sure it's easier for scale. Um, and make them look at you, which rel relieves pressure off scale. Um, and it makes these guys' life way harder, right? Um, and yeah. you can also, you can, again, multitask. You can actually help uh, these guys too if you absolutely need to. You're giving yourself options here. You doing this 
is a very thrall play. Um, no, no disrespect, to, no disrespect to thrall. Um, but D kind of did this on uh, Sorvasa a lot of the time. He would just stack on his Kiriko whenever we were playing Doom Rush, and it just never worked out. Um, you need to be here, right? or at least somewhere in these sort of zones. Um, this yep. would be considered the. It would be considered the relieve it playstyle and the Reddit playstyle too, because you can Reddit onto the onto the um, Zen if he's low, but you can also relieve the pressure off your Hanzo by booping these guys away, disabling their pressure, right? That's really, really key. Um, and you play, you've got cover, right? You don't need to be worried. If you get shot once, don't cry about it, right? You've got cover, you're chilling. Um, so that's what I want to see yep. you do, right? Um, yeah. But what I do is... Because right, like, like right, exactly, you stand, you stand here, right? <laughs> now look, right? You can push, you can actually push this the, the this Ash. And actually, if you've got yeah. good enough mechanics, you can actually Reddit mm. this if you want to, right? You don't need to, I'm not saying you, you should absolutely do that. But I know some players yeah. who would be more comfortable to like 2v1 this, right? Um, In very high coordinated teams, again, I'm not saying we should do this. Um, But uh, May lose your flanks are pretty common, right? If Keanu was May here... Your Sigma can just stand here, doesn't need to push. He can just stand here, hold the point, and then you can say, Keanu, hey, come with me. I want to rush this Ash, right? And then your main Lucio just speed on it, and this Ash wall dies, right? Um, so that's something you can absolutely do. Um, again, you don't need to do this. I'm not saying you do that just yet. Um, but yeah, the safer, at least do this play here, at least control this space, right? Um, and boop away the Ash, make uh, Skull's life easier. Right, because this, this should never be happening, right? Like, this Ash should not be swinging here, full yeah, HP. Yeah. Um, this needs to be helped out, right? Right now, you're just, like, shooting. You know, you're not doing... You're not speeding. You're not even speeding in your team. Again, you shouldn't be doing that anyways, because you're just forcing points. You want to make them come closer to you. You don't need to do anything. Um, you're not you're not doing the run at play style. You're not doing the relieve play style. You're not even doing the vent play style either. Um, oh. So, yeah. Just playing Lucio. Right, yeah, and Not like anymore. intuitive. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that intuitively, standing behind your Sigma Sim feels safe, right? Um, but again, as yeah. I've told you many a time, when you stack main, you take more damage, you do less of it yourself, right? Um, the funny, the funny cringe quotes. Um, wow. but that's legitimately true, right? And now your cause dynamited, where she could have actually dynamited you behind cover, and that's fun. You can tank the dynamite. You can just play behind cover here, and you're chilling. Um, and you've got passive heals too. You're fine. And then you end up dying, right? So that is critical Lucio play. That is really, really important to understand. Um, so yeah. Fortunately, because we've got such like we've got two points here, and we've got such good map control, and we've got a defensive uh, concave setup here. I'm not going to go over the, the concept here, but you've got three angles here essentially that draw a triangle, which means which means that if Nihilo gets pushed, Scale and and Keanu can shoot the Sigma. And we've also got many rotations we can do, right? So Keanu can flank here left side if he wants to, and Skull can flank more deeper to the right if he wants to as well. So this positioning is perfect. Um, even if Muffin dies. And again, if you are still here alive, right, you can actually help this duel, right? You can even read it onto the Zen right now. It gets a little bit scuffed, scuffed there, but the, the pre-fight, the setup, the staging, and the way we uh, play when we're down one is actually really good. I'm probably not going to skip ahead five because I just lose connection. Okay, great. And here... So they're against the goal? I was going to say, it's something that the Ash player was doing all the fucking time was using their movement to get in. Like, it was... Like it's, a coast gun. Honestly, the reason... It's honestly, yeah, it's, they were doing it on Sojourn as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it was so, it's, like, it's, it's really honestly, bad. It's honestly, the, 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 it's the reason they lost that fight though, is because she just coach gunned into the air, which made it really <laughs> easy to shoot her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always say to Sojourn Echo Ash players, take an aggressive position first, and then you can use your coach gun power side flights. Um, not really, unless you're a Sojourn and you've got full veil, but that's a different story. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is where... So what Spitfire do here, I, I, I wish I could draw this from my epic pen, but they wall like this, like vertically here, that makes sense, and then they play the right yep, side of the yep. wall, and then they just force point, bunker underneath here, and then it's super super hard for them to push. And then, what London do, they rotate up the stairs, like this, um, the Sigma still forces points, I think, I'm actually not sure, um, but then they can actually, they either window this, um, I forgot what they do actually. Um, they have like force point here, and then again their backline just still plays here. Or they rotate up to high ground. I, oh yeah, I, I got it wrong. So when the point is over here, 
they don't they don't they don't need to force it anymore, right? So that's when they got high grounds like this, and then they window Katsune rush for us, whatever they want to do. Um, but if they want to force point, they just bunker in here, bunker in here, um, and that's kind of what I wanted to, what the idea was. But yeah, we wall we we wall horizontally here. <laughs> it's like slight bro moments. Yeah, I was saying in comms to wall here. But if you like wall like right here, they can't do shit. <laughs> Actually, the wall still actually isn't that bad, but yeah, it could have been more like this. Yeah, because that's why, right? Like, yeah. Fair, good rotation. The Hanzo is the only good player on this team. There was a good rotation by the Hanzo. Um, yeah. Okay, and yeah, here we lose this fight. It's a bit devolved here, I won't lie. Um, and they've got better ults than us. Um, let me think. I mean, we can still just. Oh, keep is this where I didn't beat because of flux? Yeah, this is where you didn't beat. This is again. This is where you need to be able to like wall ride and boop these guys off, right? Like if you're playing here, oh, in, like in the here, the you need to wall ride and then boop <laughs> these guys off. That's really key. Because again, stacking main isn't going to do anything. Platform is on this point are awful. Yeah. Like they're so bad at climbing and wall riding on it. And you didn't, you didn't beat this. <laughs> oh, let's break it down. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> End up wasting window here for some reason. Wait, was this guy who was trialing? Yes. Man windowed that, that's crazy. <laughs> and he's flaming his team, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, that fight there. Um, again, just force point here. There's so many things you, you could you could do here, right? Just force point. Scale can actually dragon strike on this high ground, and then you just push, and then these guys are on low ground again. And then scale, scale Keanu, Edward just take high ground, even nothing as well because you you got vertical mobility. Um, so yeah. <laughs> That's something I haven't talked about dragon strikes too as well. Like if you if you find an area that you want to take, like this for example. Another example would be the high ground on King's or third point attack that you want to take, then dragon dragon striking it is perfectly fine. Mm. Okay, cool. I feel I, I always find that dragon striking upwards into a high ground is like the best way of catching people off guard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Like these motherfuckers I'm not gonna expect a right. fucking like, bruh Consist like to hurt. Yeah, you consistently get a kill if you put it if you place it right. Obviously you was Sonic beforehand to do that. Okay, cool. So yeah, here... Do they see it? Sorry? They see the Do Sonic. they see the Sonic below? Oh, they think if they're paying attention, they could maybe see it. it. Oh, okay. So like here again, so I actually don't mind you playing underneath here. Um, because again, if you want to Dragon Strike under, then push with TP or something, that's fine. I need rotation. I think I do Dragon Strike up. I can't remember. And by the way, Keon, if you reference as well, when you get beat here, um, you could even again you can you can actually do the Sanzo. You don't need to beat him though. Um, there's no reason to. There's no upset on the board here. Um, Dragon Strike, you don't really care about, right? Um, but yeah, this is something that Sims really good at. You can just TP from you can TP from here to the Hanzo, and you, you don't have to kill him. You don't have to kill him. Just force him away because he's alone by himself right now. Just deny the angle. Deny the angle. TP from here to here. Charge right click. TP. Orb him. TP back. That's all you need to do. Um, on Sim. Again, this is really good. Really good, um, thingy there. I actually want to see the Dragon Strike. The, the Ash gets really low here. I am sh man is shocked. Come on! Yeah, this is fucking <laughs> me, man. Okay, anyways. So the Ash gets really low here. I'm um, Dragon Strike. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Okay, nice. The Ash gets caught in open space. Dragon Strike is good. Um, yeah, so like here, again, here is like where, um, the Hanzo might be still be a bit of an issue, right? Because you're now you're caught between this angle, this, you're caught in a web essentially. Um, which is fine. Um, yeah, again, I, this is why the, the TP is just so important, right? Where did he, where did Keanu actually TP to? From here to... Where did... Point? Point, yeah, that's just not a good TP. Um, because you're already walking out anyways, right? Like, you need a TP from like here... To here and to deny the Hanzo. Now Scale just hits the shot of his life. And Sapphire dies. Right? Um, so he's just the goat, right? So yep. 
But yeah, that's just not great macro, right? Like I need someone denying that angle. Again, Sparker did this a lot with CPs. Um, not killing the person, but just denying them. Okay. And once we get higher level communication, we can start talking about like 2v1ing, right? Like I've talked about main Lucio rushes. We can do the same thing with, with Sim as well. And then you can actually TP, rush down the, the Hanzo, you split, 2v1, overload, done, right? And that Hanzo dies. Okay, nice. Play pockets. Hello, guys. Hi, Key Dog. Hello. It actually went pretty, uh, pretty well. <laughs> that was so funny. Um, yeah, we didn't. I, I see we... Edward Lucio, so I. So what we're it was trying? Good. Yeah. So like, I, I. It was not good. But it, we won. <laughs> it was. It was scuffed. It was scuffed. So like, I actually don't think the Mako on our end was actually that bad. I I, I accidentally up in fucking Davinci Resolve, um, because I clicked on that instead of Discord. <laughs> Um, I thought that was Germa for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like I'm, I'm basically we're just doing brawl fundamentals. I actually brought the video up here about bunkering, forcing points, playing against put comps, um, and stuff like that. Um, so, so yeah. Also, stuff about Lucio right. as well. We made someone rage quit, so I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> the the vetch, the vetch, the scrim. They were trialing. The vetching. That's his name. Is that why you were asking for? Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we ended up getting Jake from Angulus. <laughs> that's so. Imagine trialing in this rage region. That's so funny. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. In terms of where we're bunkering, I probably want people in high grounds, right? Kiano can just TP, and then Mandem can be here. And again, we can just. There's so much cover here to use. This is an entire dead zone. We can just force point, and with Sigma, and we're chilling. Yeah, and this is again another vertical or horizontal wall, sorry, that should Where be vertical. Yeah. Again, we can actually just vertical wall like this, and then you can play right side of wall. That's that's also a, a viable bunker thing too. And now you guys just are scared to walk, right? Because like you can't go past the <laughs> wall, right? Like you would love to just keep walking here. I think someone dies in maybe, actually. Yeah, right, so a better wall would have prevented that. I think you guys lose the fight there because of it actually. Oh, this is the fucking guy from Hinge. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I already told you about that. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god. What if I, what if I is whisper it the guy him? that you're meeting? In in February, yeah. What, what if I whisper to him? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, the flux here. So what do you, what do you, what do you flux here, actually? I think it gets cancelled. No, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just too risky. No. Ooh, I think it's too it's risky for you yeah, to get. Too risky. Like, you end up getting the hands of here, but you could have easily died or got rocked out. Um, I would just play slow work yeah. for your sim to come back. Obviously, it ends up getting value here, but they're a bad team, so, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so stabilize here. But Keanu's already back, basically. Yeah, just stabilize. Oh, that's really important. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what's that? Huh? This is, why, this, this is why bunkering is uh, so important, because you really can't be playing this open space here. Um, you should be playing either here or here, right, or left or right side. Again, a symbol would help with that. Whenever you force spawn against Pogue, they have to come closer. Yay, and you have to be careful. Yeah, that app was just um, really free on the left hand side, so I tried to exactly, like, push yeah. away. But... Yeah, it's, it's hard. But, yeah. Your team, your DPS are already dead at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So here you can just T. I, I don't mind the TP here, but I'll prefer on high ground. Again, just deny the ash, right? Like you, you, you TP to hit to the ash. You hit right click. She's forced to go away. Um. Again, you don't need to kill her necessarily, but again, force her out. And she fucks off anyways. You have high ground control. All right, good. And we just bunker. They flux and misses. Pop jump, nice rock. Would it, it wouldn't have done anything. So here's here, yeah, here's where we need to cut, right? So I don't hate the dragon, but I would have preferred you guys to just live and the, against the um the thingy and then dragon afterwards. I don't understand how I didn't die. Just yeah, right in the open. Yeah, they they, they <laughs> tried to uh, they, they tried to kill me. Like my, my health was just gone. Yeah. But <laughs> This is the good thing with I think I meant to jump around the I think I meant to jump around the corner when casting it, but I pressed Q before jumping. Mm. 
Oh my god, skill. Jesus, alright, good. So yeah, we just lift that, that's really good. That's really good you don't die there. That's really key, actually. Okay, good TP. Yeah, alright, and then that's that, that's just that's just map. Alright, cool. We'll quickly, oh my god. <laughs> we'll quickly glance over another map to... Um, someone's adding me as a friend. Okay, I think it's Sapphire. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just go with Esperanza, because this is like a really good key with the, against the Genji. Skell oh, should no. not be going 5 and 11. That was funny. <laughs> I like how it was you, Edward, posting my death, <laughs> and then KJ immediately says, this is definitely your responsibility. Because <laughs> like, in close Dude, range, you should not be winning against the, the Genji. Um, no, like, like literally, li again, this is literally right here, right? Like, this needs to be... I mean, in fairness, he does come over the high ground, so I'm not gonna hop on you too much for it. Um, but yeah, like, I would... You need to be somewhere where, right? Like, at least be warding here, so you're able to, like, flick off and help the and help the, the, the Genji Hanzo, right? Um, it's one thing I'll, I'll... If I do a step before with you, I'll talk about, like, warding on high grounds, where you've got a good LOS and you've got multiple options. Something you could have done on Suravasa a ton of times. Um, especially on the, the yellow point on Suravasa. Okay, but with that being said, we get a good rotation, rock, wall, very nice, very nice. Really good, really good. We, we're very happy with that CD trade, we can see now in the bots, all good. Okay. Ooh, so I'll be careful of that launch uh, in open space there. I'll be a little bit careful of that, yeah. I want you playing. Playing is fine. Again, you can stand here. But yeah, I would probably be just stand, standing there as a launching to it. Oh yeah, I have a tragic wall climb as well. Oh my word. Oh no. I, I actually like the wall climb because um, their queen can't get to you. Again, when I was talking to Matt about the thingy, um, I think Kido can attest to this, but Matt sojourn against the, the queen comp. One massive thing was telling Matt to always pass to high grounds. So I actually don't mind you rotating to here to on, on the high ground here um it's a little risky because you can get knife obviously but i don't mind you doing the rotation here okay yeah really nice really nice uh, uh, uh the fundamentals of like the wall rock combo are really nice and i've also suzu and shout and the genji's really low there really nice yeah great let's peel off peel help yeah nice there we go a really good fight there To exit. Oh yeah, this is just yeah. Uh, I would I would have just left. I would have left bot and then helped the peel because you don't oh, okay. want to start dying there. Can, can we watch the Lucio's perspective just for a second there? I, I'm not. I don't want to rewind it because oh. the fucking thing takes billions of. Uh, wait, rewind, me? But... Or... I was gonna say the no the enemy Lucio. The enemy oh, one. He was killing me. Uh, That's when he did the like crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how he like he, he warped his hitbox. So here, I haven't put much thought into it. Um, in terms of like where people should be playing, um, oh, yeah, definitely skeleton high ground here. Did kind of work. It, yeah. it is a thing. Like I, I want their um their queen to walk in the open space. Like I want her to walk in this like sort of area here. But I also want to get clean walls too. Um, so at the very least, I want muffin scale here, and then Keanu can. Does he play with Sigma or does he play on high grounds? Um, hmm. Also, Edward should be war, war right here, war right here. Um, because again, you can okay. deny angles here. You can scout the Genji's coming right side. You can speed in and and speed out your Sigma May if they want to play here. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just great for you, right? Um, so yeah, that's the area you should be playing at least. In terms of where May's playing, I don't know yet. I'll just we'll figure out more experience, I guess. Surely high ground. I don't know. Just high you can grounds. Wall, I suppose you can walk two chokes. Yeah, I, I think high ground. Yeah, I'll... and and she doesn't get like forced out from cryo like in some basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're probably they, high ground then. Yeah. If they do like, if they speed Lucio top left and Keanu isn't with us, then me and Muffin just have to leave. Yeah, yeah and that's a, that's a nice choke there. For, if they need, if they want to push you, they have to walk into that wall as well. So we, we kind of do it the other way around. <laughs> um, but yeah. I like sounding like this. It's like now, if yeah, if Keanu, if they're walking like this, then clean wall, right? Um, so, but yeah. And if we assistant coach Key Dog, if you want. <laughs> right, little bro. Um, 
I think the other reason is that you have more poke, right? Like, you've got more range, and you want to be leveraging that as much as you can. So if you're able to, like, poke out here, anyone here, anyone here, that's really good too. Uh, if we flip the map, which is nice, get one on the way. I don't know how Skull doesn't die here, by the way. Um, that's kind of crazy. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Dying. <laughs> oh, no, he dies. Unfortunate. That is, like, my, my one out of 20 dual wins against the Genji. Wow, very nice. Okay, so again, the idea about bunkering, um, because we've got blizzards, um, let me see this opens. Actually, could we bunker in here? Like, I reckon you could wall this. No one, this angle's really uncommonly used. The Genji's not gonna stay here. You like, you wall this, you blizzard it. I think that's actually bunkable. I'm not gonna lie. Um, even here too, and no one, this is a dead zone, right? So I think that's bunkable. I think Haigong's bunkable too. This, again, this area is a dead zone. You know where the Genji's gonna be coming from. Um, you could bunker in this room as well. This got this got better. Yeah, so like probably here, probably here. And then you've got better LOS is wider, so you can get more poke earlier on. And then you can bunker in this room and then blizzard it, and then you're fine um, against the blade. Yeah. I think it's it's because we we caught uh, well you called the rush. You called so the rush. We, so we, yeah, we yeah. This, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 But we ran so far away. It's really good push ball. So yeah, here's what I was talking about with like the TPs and whatnot, right? Um, obviously Edward's busy speeding out, but as soon as you're done speeding out, you need to like Great Lucius will be able to like walk to wall ride and help scale immediately. Um, because he needs help. Yeah, aren't they? Man needs to help. do that stuff. Man needs help. A little bit late, but we we get the trade anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, Muffin does a lot here, so he gets the trade. TP's back. Really good flux, by the way. Don't need beat. A really, really good flux. Yeah, so this is just ebb and flow, right? We cut their rush, we push back in with flux. Um, yeah, nice. Good stuff. That is uh, pretty much textbook ebb and flow. Very nice. All right, let's. You stop calling it sex, so. I. <laughs> I did that for a video, okay? Um, but yeah. So yeah, here, yeah, here against Blade, I want you guys playing here, right? Like, I I think we, we had it, yeah, we're not winning this, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think Genji gets forced out. Oh yeah, I, I booped him up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go hit the shot. That's so funny. Yeah. So high up. <laughs> so again, like, around this sort of area is really good to play around too. Um, Beautiful boop. <laughs> nice shot as well. Boop, yeah. You don't have to use Blizzard for it. And again, the peel, the peel, the peel, the peel, the peel, the peel, right? Like, yeah, you did a great job denying the Genji, but the peel needs to be over here now, right? Like, your playstyles immediately yeah. change constantly. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's the same kind of playstyle anyways. Like, you're relieving the Genji, now you're relieving the Lucio, but it still, it still needs to change. Um, Mad. And Skell, Skell just hits the shot, right? Like, that's... We're out playing macro with, with, good, with good mechanics. We should end up winning this, because we're all up. He dies. Okay, thank God he doesn't die. That's good. That's good. All right, that is what needs to happen. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I got stuck in the surgeon grenade. Oh, I was gonna you were die. So close to die. <laughs> that was so <laughs> yeah, here's the fight we lose. Here's the fight we lose. Which we shouldn't actually, because we got one, two, one, two, maybe three. I mean, it's still very winnable. Let's see what oh happens. yeah, I remember what happens. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah. So what Spitfire do? Their backline just plays on her. Um, maybe some being clean, clean ass wall. Very easy kite back. You've got uh, Mag Mega two. Your backline just plays it basically. Um, and also you've got very nice sightlines for scale. Like, these are really nice long sightlines. Um, you can start like, the building too. You can rotate up as well. Um, and walk them up. Yeah, it's just like yeah, your backline rotate into her. This is what Spitfire do all the time. Um, yeah. It's like now this is not. The range you want to be playing at, right? Like now, the Genji's full HP. He's close range into you. This is not great. And if you are going to be doing this, by the way, for whatever reason, based on alt, alt economy, then Lucio needs to be here as well. Where's Lucio? On main, right? Um, very tall, very tall, like. Wow. <laughs> Again, this this can't happen. Like this is. I'm just getting roasted. This is like this is fundamentals, right? Like. Yeah, you need to be there. You could have booped away that Genji, stop the one-shot combo, right? Maybe he misses the deflect, right? Um, that needs to happen. So you have to force to give up map control. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, cool. I lived still for quite a long time line. there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still a little bit worrying because you've got 120 meters and six minutes left, and you guys, um, you guys, still make this down to a one fight scenario. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they get like 70 something meters, and then they push us to 110 in overtime. Speed it up. The ults, one, two, three, maybe four, maybe. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Roughly equal. Okay. Again, like this, this needs to like, right? Like that needs to, that engine needs to go away. They keep, they rush on high grounds. It's fine though. We get a good rock into the, the rock's been on, on the queen has been generally really good. Um, decent wall too. Prevents the Kirika from healing the queen. So not, not too bad, right? And here I would probably like to see you guys, uh, you can wall climb up here. Um, or you can TP the Skull, K rush here, and then the Skull gets Kitsune Rush. You lose, you can boop off the Genji, but just retouching or, re or fighting back the High Gun with Kitsune Rush is probably what I want to see here. You do not want to get these, you do not want, like, you, want, you do not, ugh, I can't speak. You don't want these guys to overclock from High Ground, essentially. That would be not great for you guys. Yeah, and, um, maybe. Edward, this needs to be on you, right? Like, you need to be, not, again, you need to deny this, right? You need to walk, walk right over here, deny the soldier, and boop her away, fire shots, um, make it easier to, to reclaim the high grounds instead of stacking main. Okay. Because now look, you just you've act, you've actually just taken rampage and you're doing less, right? Mm -hmm. When you whenever you whenever you stack main, you do you you uh, you do less, take more damage. Beat is okay, but again, this could have been denied, right? Like a soldier could be half HP, yeah. you could have booped her away, bought more time, um, all those good things. And now we're stuck between a rock and hard place. Yeah, so that soldier deny is really important, and then K rushing the high grounds, um, muffin and Genji, muffin and uh, scale two v one in the Genji with K rush. That's probably what I want to see. Mm. One thing I will say, uh, it's completely fine, completely fine to K rush and solo K rush your DPS or one of your DPS. Completely fine, uh, just to win flank control. That's completely fine mm -hmm. to do. If you see if your hand is on a good angle and you want to K rush it, by all means go for it. Um, especially considering it's scale, so he's probably gonna hit shots. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, K, K rush on Hanzo is better than a nano. I mean, that's good to hear at least. I'm pretty um, sure. Your storm arrow must like, be fucking crazy. Just... Like, this, the rapid fire must be insane. <laughs> Brr! Or some dumb shits. Okay, so we try to touch here. Nero touches. Again, I want a wood here. I want you here, right? Again, this. How I was many times have you seen this? I was speeding the touch. You do well, No, okay, now you speed the touch, right? Congrats. Now Nero is touching. Now you need to go back to your hands up, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. So the Genji just fucks off, right? He's too scared. He's too sketch. They actually give up all the space, which is actually nice for us. I don't know why they do this. They could actually could have held this. Um, but yeah. Again, I want high gun control. Uh, I want Edward here. I'm muffin as well, by the way. Fuck, I pressed. Fuck! No! I have to wait like 5 billion years now for it to load. Oh. There we go, thank fuck. Right, there we go, nice, nice. Let's boop. It took me so long to join wall right up there. Yeah, now, so now you're back main. Um, now you're back main, right? No, I and fell again, off. You, you could be, you fell off, right? Um, so did I. Uh, but like, you could be, again, helping out your hands over here and speeding in your Sigma and your Mei too, right? How the two places can overlap. Enabling your hands over and enabling your, um, your Sigma on the front, on the front line. Protected. And now, again, it would be your place will switch to booping away the Genji, booping away the Sojin, whatever you want to do, I don't care, either one. To get, to get, like, get, I don't know what you. I don't, I don't know what you actually do this fight. Ah, uh, this is toxic. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we do not need to see this. Amp heals on full HP. Amp heals on full HP, That's right? True. Um, was again, you could be amping heals uh, into your hands, or booping away the Genji, right? All that good stuff. And you'd be way safer doing it, by the way. Like Genji super low. Right? Imagine if you, if you hit two Cheerios before we actually played it, right? It'd have been an entirely different story. 
Lux, uh, I don't mind it. I think it's, it's a Domino's effect, right? Where, like, if your Hanzo lives, that Genji dies, you don't need to flux this, right? Um, or, like, you might not feel obliged to flux. Um, because I understand why you Yeah, I was it. getting a little bit scared, so I just I just fluxed her because the queen was too close to me. Yeah, yeah. And she had the blessy, so I was, yeah. You're, you still got ult economy anyways, um, so it's all chilling. Okay, so here's we need to do the Christopher thing. Um, and again, here again, Skell gets fucked by the Genji. Alright, so Edward, you, I want you to tell me, where should you be? Where should, you be, war ride? Where should you be war riding, roughly? In the same place as before. Would define same like on those white buildings. Yeah, right, like around here, right? Like yeah. bouncing between here because it gives you options, right? You can help scale if he gets dove by the Genji, which spoiler alert, he does. Um, or you can speed in your wow. Sigma May, or you can speed out your Sigma May if, if they're getting run over, right? Um, which shouldn't be the case, right? But again, you have options. Yeah, yeah. I think there, Lucio actually helps the, the jeweler as well. Yeah, he actually misses the dash. Yeah. It's very lucky. Yeah, right. There, Lucius doing it. There, Lucius doing it, right? Wow, uh, the goat. And now, Scale's forced an open space, which is not great. The com zone, the com valley, as come on next, like to say. <laughs> and now, the Genji's got map control. Right? This is not great. This is not what we want. Right? This is this is what their win condition wants, and Lucio plays a big part in denying this. Um, so. Yeah, because shooting Shirios up here, not going to be amazing, right? And again, your aura is still going to hit these guys. You're, you're doing a two for one, right? Um, so yeah, that loses us this fight. Right. I don't really know why I didn't just climb up. <laughs> uh, that is what well, climb up back on the high grounds. So accidentally rewind, by the way. Fuck. Like what? The goats. Just climb to the bridge. I mean, I was just getting. Okay, and yeah, like, probably getting greedy, yeah. Big dragon. See, when, when the, again, I, I highly recommend watching the Brawl Guide that I made. I talk about every single comp, the, the Brawl Dive matchup. Um, yeah, so it was... Get on top of back line, right? Usually reps east, but in this case it's a Kiriko, with the CD cycle, right? So in this case, they want to get on top of uh, Muffin or Skell with Shout Dash, right? Um, and that's what they do here. So if that happens, you lose, basically. Okay, and then I assume, yeah, we just don't die, we don't die point, essentially, I think. I want a 4v5, we get staggered here, Keanu gets split, and yeah, we get, they get like this entire free car push, which is not great. Sly, bro, with that. Okay. Oh no, chomp, worst chomp, moment chomp, chomp. of the night. Oh, oh no. Yeah, then you get staggered, yeah. <laughs> I think we end up losing this fight. This was actually really not really well done. I like the scouting on the, on the Genji here. If you don't scout the Genji, you literally you actually lose this map. You actually lose this map. And this is what we want to see. Right? This is good. Some footsteps. Oh, that's a that's <laughs> just Tojin moment. I'm not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I should have booped the shot away, my bad. True. Soldier. I mean, it's kind of the nature of Soldier, right? Like, uh, it's so in, in, uh, was it Saudi E Leagues? I think it was Saudi E Leagues. Like, Quartz just hit rails, and it's like, <laughs> what do you do? Like, if you're, you know, it's just, it's, yeah. Buff Surgeon. Um,. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a Nebjamin, one of my old teams, uh, went clubbing and they didn't invite me because I'm, because I'm gay and I like men. And they feel uncomfortable with sleeping with a gay guy um, and going to a straight club with a gay guy, I guess. But yeah. Love that. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to them about that. Anyways, um, okay. Let's see, uh... Why is Keanu playing this far away? Okay. Slightly odd. 
And this is good though, right? So again, Edward, why aren't you riding here? Alright, again, look at what the loose is doing. The loose is actually doing this relatively well. Um, yeah. Yeah. And again, when you're war riding here, you can speed these guys and deny the Genji. This cannot- if, don't tell me Skull dies here, please. Oh, wallahi. Okay. I mean, we pulled supports for it. That's not a great trade. I don't- I'm not a fan of the K-Rush, I'm not gonna lie. I think we just need the beats. Um... Fair. Yeah, I'm <laughs> We don't- we don't coordinate the, the Yeah, spoils. it's- it's very... We press Q. I wasn't really thinking. I saw a Genji Blade and all did. Yeah. The, 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 push pulls, the push pulls become a lot easier if you do all the work in the pre-fight, right? Like, if you puck up that Genji beforehand, mm. it's going to be so much easier to absorb the actual Genji push. Um, which makes yeah, where's, the, where's the old tracking, Lucio? <laughs> Bro, I, uh, I cannot be thinking you about are, that. You are probably going to need to old tracker, but I'm not going to lie. Um, no. Ah, man. That's not fun. <laughs> you, you have to learn an entirely new hero, and who's probably got one of the highest skill caps and support, and you soul track. Oh, uh, <laughs> God. GG's, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being... I mean, you actually... For, for the first time you played Lucio in the scrim, you actually played way better than I thought you did, so... Like you actually did. Oh yeah, <laughs> you say that. <laughs> it's it's, it's soldier. It's fine. Like it's it's well done. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, real. You can always have muffin ultra. Yeah, whoa, muffin. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're on the easy here. I mean, had experience ball tracking. <laughs> I, I, he was like mercy main last year yeah. right, for Sam, yeah, so I he must have. I don't think I did any ult track. We just kind of. Uh, we just uh, he's trying to get out of it now. <laughs> I thought. I thought you. I thought you did nothing. Oh uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I think we have Keanu uh, ult track. Who is their queen doing blood? Holy fuck! Um, but yeah, yeah is... their queen's just throwing. <laughs> face Johnny. Face Johnny is not. He's not cooking. He's done. Uh, They're probably boom. Just gonna try all that. Happens. Okay, why does this happen? Because both our supports are completely split from from our thingies. Um. And um, so we killed the queen here. Uh, did you TP to? I think. No, we we just we just walked. Uh, did we see down forward? That's what I was worried about. What do you mean? That's all I thought about. Uh, oh wait, we don't we we don't even have it, do we? Do we? So, Aki, I don't time. actually. I don't mind. I think muffin TP used to Edward. I think. Some reason. Oh yeah, because yeah. he's he gets axed. That's why. And then you get axed, Did and then he panics. CP muffin. Um, oh, oh, muffin got axed. Muffin. I was yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, I think I was just. Low. Yeah, this that's really not... bad cover usage. This is not great. Yeah, blood is in the open. Which ends up causing. Just... Yeah, it's not brilliant. Yeah, I was just looking for a safe. safe oh, what's wow. Sapphire, man? Jesus, Sapphira. So that, that literally just stems down from just not stabilizing because our supports are split and haven't got LOS. So. Slight run moments. Still, again, this is where this is one of those dogfight situations where the fire is going to bolt if someone calls a target and you and you just walk onto them. Um, Shoot Genji, guys. Or maybe... The, you, uh, well, Gen, it's things. probably Genji. Probably Genji. The thing is, I used all of my abilities to kill that Lucio in the backline. So when the yeah. Genji dived in, I literally had nothing to, like... Do anything. <laughs> that's a fight we really should have won. We killed their queen and we still lost that fight. Um, that's a really good fight to win. So there was OT. Okay. This is a bit scary. Suzu forced early, not brilliant. Again, I probably want Edward at least riding around this sort of area, like around. Out I on love the standing on the floor. It's so nice. I like <laughs> you how should almost moving. never be standing. <laughs> if you like... play, when you play against good Ryan teams, you cannot Lutio. be standing on the floor. You just can't. Like you'll get shattered. If you his legs move floor. around. Mm, mm. Right, so again, Genji should actually be pinswing from here. I don't know why he's, why, why she's not. Um, but yeah, probably a good good by Kiana by the way to disengage. That's a that's a floor that that's called there. That's a checkmate wall. This one. Yeah, good kite there by the way. I think we we did ult track Katsuni Rush, so again, good kite. I think you ult tracked it, but yeah. I don't think I did. I ult I, I track sometimes, but for that fight specifically, I don't think I did that one. No, Scarlet is a short of his life. Cool. And again, this, yeah. 
Like, I get there eventually, I'm just a bit slow. Yeah, I mean, I will say this, your, your, your Lucio is better than Thor, so I will say that. Huh? By, by like, 0.1% still. Vlad, Vlad, see ya guys, it's been fun playing with you, <laughs> you know. Um, oh no, you're gonna find a I'm new captain. Guys. Oh god, no, fuck! Oh, okay, <laughs> this guy, man. Okay, 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 I can't summarize in the fucking thing, I'll use that banana. Um, yeet, there we go. Um, I'm holding a banana. So the good things, um, honestly, the ebb flows pretty good when you ult track them and you cut it out well. Um, there were two fights there on Esperanza that were pretty good. The bunkering on Blizzard World was pretty good too. On BW, the wall, especially the wall plus rocks, onto Queen. What about um, the sim walls? We're very good. Um, <laughs> we don't talk as, about them. Yeah, yeah, probably the sim walls, right? Um, but the the general macro of like how we're forcing against the queen, um, she basically couldn't do anything. Every time we got a wall rock combo, we forced out commanding shout and Suzu. That was really good. Um, the walls are good on May generally. Um, scale hit his shots obviously. Um, and we actually did, we zoned out backlines really well. Zoned out, uh, poke backlines. So like Ana Zen, Bap Zen kind of stuff. We did that really well. Um, the stuff that needs working on, I'll divide it into macro and micro, um, would probably be, um... Lucio. I mean, a lot of it was on Lucio, won't lie. Um, <laughs> I'll probably say... I actually sell the system, like, I'll say, I'll say, like... Um, Nothing, how about next scrim you try Lucio? Oh, no, 2B, no, no. I'll say 2 v one And alt track. With Scale, um... Wall riding in such a way as to give you like options, uh, options with wall ride, with wall ride. I gotta learn how to wall ride first. Uh, enabling scale. Um, uh, there we go. Well, at least for Lucio, hero mastery is up. Uh, just save if I do room. that, I'll be a master at the area. Hero. Oh, it's area. actually unironically decent for learning wall riding. Um, nice. Um, disabling enemy. DPS, and then once you guys are more comfortable with the macro, then we can talk about like two, like two man rushes with like Lucio plus a DPS, and then they can half blank or whatever, um, and overload aside, um, but that's for later. Um, sim walls, that's a it's a really easy one to fix, really easy. Um, just press Q again. But yeah, just literally just <laughs> uh, press Q again, um, and some more bunkering um, on. Future maps slash points. Um, what else? Um, our alt economy. Um, I feel like whenever um, I'll just I'll add spar framework as well against the queen comp. Um, Go queen Genji comp. Um, because your your ebb flow will be a lot easier. Your push pulls and your alt tracks will be a lot easier if you're able to to get that framework down. Um, a lot of it will come down to again poking up the Genji. Um, but yeah, so like bunkering, I'll highlight the macro. Uh, like bunkering's macro, spars macro, and then this this is still macro actually. It plays into the bigger picture of things. Um, and then this is like micro. Um, yeah. Um, all of this is micro as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, any anything else people want to say? Um, if they're running queen and Genji, do I focus more on the Genji or the queen? Because on on the queen today, I was focusing more on the queen. Probably, but I don't know if I should. Uh, probably on the queen. Your your main value, um, is again the the walk the wall the wall rock amp combos generally, um, and forcing out shout and um, shout and what's it called Suzu, um, against dive. Um, I haven't made my poke guide yet. Um, but essentially in dive mirrors, um, and in when you're playing poke into dive. It's very common to just force front lines and to shoot their Winston or their tank as much as possible because it prevents a dive, right? If you're able to force their queen out early um, because she can't walk or she's getting pressured out hard, their Genji's alone and he's all easy to peel off. Um, in theory, that's how it works at least. Um, Sometimes I'm not gonna go over okay, the dive yeah. as a world, but generally speaking, the queen is the who you focus a lot, a lot more on. Um, in pre-fights, by the way, I'll say the one exception to that is in pre-fights. Um, God, I fucking made a TikTok on this as well. Um, on Shred. Uh, he's like, you, do you know who Shred is? Shred head. Yeah. As, of course, Edward does. Yeah. Um, but Shred, he's like the best Sigma in... He's probably going to make World Cup next year. Or this year, if he's going to, you know, if it's 
gonna be a thing. Um, but he is when 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 his team was playing against Austin Flash Ops, you can make he 10, did this really well. Um, he constantly shot Jane on Genji before the fight. Constantly, constantly, constantly. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, I'm a top 500 and semi likely correct. that you're gonna do concepts on one. So yeah, so Jane on Genji here. So this will probably answer your question. Um, and then treads on Genji, treads on Sigma. And you can see that Tread is looking at the Genji beforehand. Um, so if you're able to get Hyperspheres early on, before the Genji dash is in, that's really key. Um, so yeah, he actually hits two man, two on the Genji, I think. Yeah, so he hits two on the Genji, he hits the Vok 2, and then J9 dies. Um, he also gets the Vok onto J Andreas 2 on the, on the Doomba, so he gets a two for one. Um, but yeah, in the pre-fight, um, if you're looking to um, shoot... Uh, Genji, uh, Tracer, Sojourn as Sigma, and force them out, that's great. Um, and then when the, the, the Queen actually walks, that's when you can do your wall rock combo. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Okay. Um, but, yeah, anything else? Yeah, yeah. All right, nothing. Cool. Um, also, I think oh, I, we awesome. need to time the um, Blizzard and Flux, because we. Uh, I think there was a couple times where we used that at the same time. <laughs> yeah, probably. That, it's that's just, true. Yeah. Like, it's out the blizzard. <laughs> flux yeah, out like, the fucking blizzard. Um, yeah, like th there could be a fight plan where you flux a force, like uh, a defensive uh, CD, like Suzu, and then you just bring them down, then blizzard world, uh, blizzard afterwards. And that's like a work. It, it was just unlucky as well, because like we all pressed at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a bit of a shame. I think I, I think one thing to, th to add on to that is if you're bunkering. Um, then your, your blizzard will probably be for that, right? So I've mentioned this on Esperanza, but in situations where you want to bunker and keep your backline safe, you can just bunker in an area, blizzard, blizzard that. Again, there's plenty of examples uh, in this guy to A. I bring one on Coliseo here. So if you play Coliseo, we'll be playing underneath the bridge here. Our backline will be playing here. Um, we can have a May 2 or make and ward this off, and we can just play here, right? And if you've got, if you've got Blizzard, that's great, because then we can just force point, Blizzard it if they touch, and we win. Um, so that's really good. And then, again, another bunker example here by London on Midtown, underneath there. Tons of examples that I go over here. Um, so, yeah. If you want to get your macro up to speed, that's a good video to watch. Um, but yeah, anything else? Great! Nothing! Brilliant! Amazing! Poggers! Um, well, that's been out.